It was a rainy, dark day in the middle of December. Dead leaves, covered, dead leaves covered the cold, wet grass. My school was two periods away from a two-week-long winter break. Laughter and Christmas carols filled the hallways. I did not know as I stepped into my third period class, my life would change forever. From the time I was born to before my freshman year of high school, my father was in prison, serving a 15-year sentence. Growing up not having a father in my life was challenging. When I saw my father with my, with, I'm sorry. When I saw my friends with their father, I thought God was punishing me. And I was filled with jealousy and agony. When my father was released, we took every opportunity to make up for lost time. Long walks, deep conversations helped us to build the, rela to build the relationship we both had missed. For the first time in my life, all felt right in the world. Can we please have Elijah Edwards to the front office immediately? The school secretary voice quivered over the loudspeaker. The word immediately ran through my head in circles like horses on a racetrack. I thought, could I be getting in trouble? What did I do? What happened now? <laughs> Can my sweaty palm stained the hall pass my teacher gave me? I crept through the hallways, afraid of what was waiting for me in the office. What I saw was worse than any detention or talking to I could ever imagine. My mother sat in a chair with her head low. Through her cries, she told me my father had been shot directly through his chest the previous night and had passed away. On the ride home, I only heard the cries of my mother and sister as I wrapped my arms around them. I wanted to burst out into tears, drop to my knees, and ask God why. Why me again? I just got a father and you take him away? I was furious and left defeated, left questioning everything I believed in. But I kept my grief private. I could not let my mother and sister experience any more hurt because they were worried about me. A prepubescent 14-year-old boy forced himself to step, into the to step into the shoes of a man more than twice his size and age. Even if I tied these shoes, I would not be able to fill them. I would have to grow into this new role. I felt like I couldn't pick myself up and I was not the type to ask anybody for help. So I was stuck at the bottom by myself. So stuck, my feet were trapped. I would never speak about how I felt, not even to my own mother. I felt alone. When she asked, I would tell her nothing. Nothing is wrong. When I went to my father's funeral and I looked around, I saw one lady who stuck out like a sore thumb in the far left side of the room. She caught me by surprise, I thought, why is Miss Lab here? She should be at school. <laughs> I seen a whole support group in one woman that day. I never thought anyone outside of my mother could care for me in such a way. From that day, I knew my avid family would always be there to support me. Right then, I made the purposeful decision that education would be the catalyst in forming the trajectory of my life. I would not repeat my father's mistakes. Education through AVID would be my way to a different life. Through my, work in a through my work in AVID, I was able to see a huge shift in my organizational skills, and as a result, my grades in all of my classes improved. Through the binder checks and the focus notes, my grades began to rise. I began to care more and more about my future and what would become of it. Each tutorial taught me more, not, on not only about my points of confusion, but how to ask the right questions and break down my learning. Because of AVID, school became my escape from the pain of my father's death, and it was my source of hope. Through the school-wide use of Wicker strategy and AVID methodologies, I felt myself grow stronger every day. I was ignited by the prospect of not only being a first-generation high school graduate, but a first-generation college graduate. Yeah. With AVID, I had the support system I needed throughout high school. From my AVID peers, to my AVID elective teachers and coordinator, to the entire AVID site team, I knew people cared about me. 
and were supportive of my success. Because of AVID, I took seven AP classes during high school. <laughs> I was AVID ambassador all four years. I have been, <laughs> I have been accepted into my top choice college with an $80,000 scholarship. I will be attending Jacksonville University in fall of 2019. I'd like to thank AVID because AVID helped me, as well as my mother, not only grow into the shoes my father left behind, but AVID also gave me the tools, oh, but, AVID, but AVID also gave me the tools I needed to take them down a different path. Thank you.